Hello everyone and welcome to this lesson. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how you can leverage DALI 2 to perform interior design to kind of play around with uh, multiple variations of the decor in a given room. And then I'm going to show you as well how you can leverage DALI 2 to perhaps sell your AI art on Fiverr.com. So let me show you a few examples. First, let's um, assume that you have an image of, let's say, sunglasses, for example, and you would like to add a tropical background, maybe with a beach and, for example, sand, as an example. And you would like to kind of use that image and post it on, let's say, uh, Shopify.com or any other site to sell that product. So let me show you how you can do this. First, you can go ahead here. As I showed you before, you can either choose Surprise Me, that is going to surprise you basically with a certain prompt here. That's one way. Second way is that you can go ahead and type your own, for example, prompt that you like here in just plain uh, English. Or alternatively, you can go ahead and click on Upload an Image to Edit. So you can upload your own image, and then DALI is going to edit it. It's not really, I would say, that perfect, but it can uh, requires a lot of tuning and a lot of trial and error to get it right. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click on Upload an Image to Edit. So if you click on it, you will find few images here, and I'm going to include these images in the course package as well for you. And I'm going to basically select this image of sunglasses. And let's assume that you'd like, for example, to upload this image on your Shopify store. And let's assume that you would like maybe to add additional cool vibes to it. Maybe you'd like to add a tropical background with the beach and sand as an example. So let me show you how we can do this. First, I would like to go ahead and click on crop. That is going to crop the image for me. And then I'm going to say, well, please go ahead and edit this image. So if you click, click on edit image, here we go. What you could do right now is you can go ahead and say, OK, I would like to click on the eraser. And I would like to select the area where I would like to edit. So here, I'm going to select this background here. And even if you mess it up a little bit, that's OK. You can go ahead on the right-hand side here and kind of change the size of the eraser if you want to make it a little bit more um, um, basically fine. So if you can go ahead and just select okay, this area here. So I'm just coloring all that area. I would like to include that background in all these different locations. So on top of the sunglasses and on the bottom of it. And don't worry if you kind of mess it up a little bit. Again, DALI is quite smart and can actually kind of understand the features of the object and segment or separate that object from the background. So that's what I'm doing here. Okay, here we go. Okay, I'm cleaning, cleaning that up. Okay, looks pretty good. All right, okay. So now what I have is basically the background. So I, I highlighted what areas I would like to add. So the question is, okay, what should I add in there? That's what I'm going to write. I'm going to type basically tropical background, tropical background with beach and sand. And I'm just going to click on generate. And let's see what they're going to look like. Again, it's not very, I would say, perfect. But of course, OpenAI is uh, retraining all these models and coming up with new generations going to be much, much smarter than the version that we got right now. And here we go. What you see right now is actually Pretty cool. This one, for example, is actually pretty nice. So if you just click on it, you can see that here there's some sand that's been added here, some water as well. If you don't like it, maybe you can say, please go ahead and generate again. Let's see maybe additional variations of that as well. And uh, this is kind of going to bring your photo to life a little bit. And then you can post it on your Shopify store or anywhere else as well. And uh, let's see. So here we go. This is actually much nicer. This is actually pretty cool. So what you see right now, your sunglasses became much, much better. Of course, you'll see it's kind of, you know, like the details here. It's actually quite accurate, I would say, overall. You added the sand, you added the water here, you added some greenery. It looks tropical, looks pretty beautiful, actually. Okay, so now we learned how to just get an image and kind of add life to that image. Of course, you can go ahead and click on Save, and then you can save it to Collection as an example. And it's going to be shown as well, as well here on the right-hand side. Okay, so what I would like to show you next, I would like to show you how you can generate multiple variations of a given image. And this is actually quite funny, and um, uh, you can go ahead and try it out with your own image, for example. So I just thought maybe I would like to see how AI is kind of imagining my features as an example. 
So I just said, okay, please upload this image that I got. And it's just going to say crop this image and generate variations. Let's see multiple variations of humans, let's say, and how AI is kind of imagining it. And uh, this is, again, a cute photo of a dog with its tongue uh, hanging out and uh, along with a cat. And you would see kind of both of them hugging each other. And look at this. <laughs> this is kind of multiple variations of the image. Actually, <laughs> So what you see, the features of the bow tie as an example of, you know, the suit here has been captured. And of course, it's not very accurate, but again, it's getting there. It's going to be pretty cool. Again, these images of people, these people have never existed before. And this is kind of the imagination of AI, of what the image looked like and variations of the image look like. Okay. So next, I'd like to show you how you can um, do interior design and kind of play around with decorative elements of items using DALI 2. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click on Upload. And then I'm going to select an image here, this image of basically a living room. And I would like to play around with the object that I would like to put here on that table. I'm going to say crop, that is going to crop the image for me. And then I'm going to say, please go ahead and edit the image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the eraser and I'm going to change the size of the eraser kind of a little bit. And then I'm going to select the area here. So I'm going to select the area on top of that table. And let's assume that I would like, for example, to add, let's say, a decorative green plant. Let's go ahead and see. Again, uh, as just a quick disclaimer, it's not, I would say, very accurate, but it kind of does the job. So I'm going to say add decorative green plant. Let's see what that's going to look like. And this is kind of going to be super helpful, of course, for interior designers. If they'd like to show their clients their imagination, for example, you know, like if you can take a picture of a given living room and you can go ahead, play around with it, super powerful tool and kind of bring the imaginations to life because a lot of people, of course, most of us are visual. So, and here we go. Look at this. It's actually pretty, uh, it's actually kind of uh, exceeding my expectations per se. So what you see here is you can see multiple variations of the object. So you can see right now I was able to add it a decorative green plant on top of that table. Looks pretty cool. You can go ahead and click on this one. You can see again, nice decorative item. You can play around with the style, for example, of the item, if you'd like to have it maybe like green, yellow, and so on. And you can do a lot of cool interior design with it, so you can kind of imagine what that decorative item looks like in your living room. Super powerful tool, especially for interior designers. Let's assume that I would like maybe to add, for example, a vase. So I'm going to say, instead of that, maybe add a cheek vase, let's say. And let's say what that's going to look like. Again, I'm just playing around with it. And of course, it's going to be placed as well in that location, in the same area that I specified on top of the table. Another key feature as well with DALI, it kind of, again, understand the um, relationships between objects. So now it kept the chair, and now it added items on top of that chair. And look at this. <laughs> Actually, pretty amazing. So what you see, the chair is still intact. And you can see that item here has been placed on top of it, and it has blended seamlessly in the image. You can also see here, this is again a nice vase as well. You can play around with the style and you can get amazing ideas, kind of generate ideas out of it. And you can go ahead, click on that one, and maybe you can click on variations to kind of see the similar kind of different variations of the same image. And um, let's go ahead and wait and wait for this. And then I'm going to show you as well how we can experiment with more than one item. Um, actually, what happened right now is the DALI was able to generate multiple variations of the original image, okay? So the entire image, not just the object. So you see, for example, these are different variations of the living room, showing you maybe a different style of the table and different, different colors as well for that table too, similar to that one here, okay? All right, let's assume that I would like to, uh, that would be the final trial here. Let me actually repeat the whole process again. I'm going to upload, I'm going to upload the image, I'm going to crop the image, I'm going to say edit image. I'm going to select the eraser. And then I'm going to make it maybe a little bit smooth here, a little bit smaller. And then I'm going to specify I would like to draw something here on top of that table. Okay. And I would like to, for example, add two items. And let's see what they're going to look like. I'm going to say, please, I would like to add cheek vase and a uh, plant. And let's see, if you say generate. Again, the sky here is the limit. I strongly recommend that you can go ahead play around with it, maybe take a picture of your living room, and then you can add items to it and kind of imagine what your living room look like 
using the power of artificial intelligence. And uh, here we go. This is actually pretty cool, a fortune telling Shiba Inu reading your fate in a giant hamburger digital art. Okay. And look at this. So what you see right now, this is basically, um, it, um, if you can see here, this is a cheek vase, basically. But what you notice is, basically I was imagining, and that's what I tried before, when I added these two items, because I said and here, I thought that AI is going to put more than one item together. And when I actually play around with it, um, it was able to generate that, generate two items next to each other, the plant on its own and the cheek vase on its own as well, kind of experiment more than one items. But here it didn't do it for some reason. You, I, again, it's a lot of trial and error and a lot of, um, you need to be very specific as well with your prompt. All right, so that's it. That's all I have for this lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. One last point that I would like to show you. If you go to fiverr.com, what you notice right now, if you hover on the top right corner here, you will find AI services. These are services just powered by artificial intelligence. So what you see here is add talent to AI. So again, the tools are out there, but learning how to use it, learning how to tweak it, learn about prompt engineering. Again, it's still an art. And what you see here, there are many services available. You can find there are services if you'd like to build AI applications, or if you'd like to do or use AI artists, for example, or if you'd like to generate or create AI models as, a, as an example, or kind of uh, offer that as a service. You can use AI music videos, fast checking, AI content editing, Again, these are experts with the power of artificial intelligence, It's kind of like superhumans. And let's actually go ahead and explore a few of those. If you click on AI artist as an example, you will see people here offering many services. So for example, you can see here, it's actually selling quite well as well. There's 73 year reviews as an example. And this is Fiverr Choice. I will create quick custom AI art using Midjourney Advanced. And I showed you how to use Midjourney before. And this is kind of the kind of art that you can generate. Again, the sky is the limit with it. And if you can scroll down, you can see, you can of course go ahead and offer your service. Now you learned how to use Midjourney with just a, a, a tweak of your creativity and maybe creative prompting. You can go ahead and offer your services here, super powerful. If you can go back and you can select maybe AI models, if you know how to train these AI models such as GPT-4 or GPT-3, you can go ahead and offer your services here. Many people are looking for it. And uh, you can see as well, people are still are purchasing that and giving reviews as well. Here, for example, um, here you can build a GPT, chat GPT, OpenAI, or GPT-3 model for you. And you can see it's actually not very expensive, I would say. Of course, some of this are a little bit here, like 750 as an example. But of course, you know, you can go ahead and click on it, and you can contact the seller if you like. One last piece I would like to show you, if you'd like maybe to do AI content editing. Here, you can see basically an AI-powered content, content editors. And you can see as well, some of them are top rated. This is again, still new. And um, I, I strongly recommend if you are already a content uh, writer, or maybe you are an artist, you can go ahead, try to learn these tools as quickly as possible and try to offer your service as well. And that's it. That's all I have for this lesson. I hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next lesson.